my friends Robert here how are you guys doing so there's a little construction project going on at the farm let's check it out so I've been hauling dirt with my little uh, Ford F350 dump truck this past week I can haul about uh, like three three to five yards and right now it's a bit wet so I don't want to overload it actually I have to shovel off some of it because it's like over over 10,000 uh, pounds very heavy when the when the dirt is uh, wet anyways I brought in like uh, six loads two four five six or seven loads I'm gonna dump this one over here over there on the side where Rocky is <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna spread it all out Alright, so uh, let me tell you about the project, um, what I'm building here. So this is my little farm office. And this is going to be a porch for the farm office. So I need a place where I can... Uh, it's going to be screened in, so I needed a place where there's no mosquitoes. And I can uh, start seedlings and I can bring in my... Whatever I harvest, uh, store it there and uh, wash it, package it maybe, whatever. So, I'm, I'm planning to build a storage house next, sometime ne uh, next week, next next year. But uh, for now, I want to have this little uh, little porch where I can uh, store some of my tools and have like a washing station and uh, you know just have a bunch of shelves where I can stack up. Um, pots and um, seeds and all kinds of stuff so this is going to be 14 feet uh, wide and 32 feet long and it's going to have four feet of uh, overhang or how you call it on each side of the farm office actually two more feet for uh, overhang but a drip drip line over there how you call it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread the dirt evenly. I'm going to leave about uh, 3 inches for the slab. So I'm going to pour uh, a 3 inch slab and the footer too. The footer is going to be, I don't know, what do you guys think? For the farm office I, uh, I went by the code which I believe was uh, 12 inches wide and 16 uh, inches deep for the footer but for the porch I don't think I, I need to go that uh, that wide and that deep so I was thinking uh, like eight, 8 inches wide just like a, a cinder block and 12 inches uh, deep what do you all think? for the porch that should do it right? And three inches for the for the farm office I did a four inch slab, but three inches should be fine for the porch. And I'm gonna put a I'm gonna use the same um, the same uh, what do you call it? It's not rebar, it's not sheet metal. It's four they said it at Home Depot in four by eight uh, sections. Wire mesh, yes, wire mesh. I'm sorry sometimes I can't find the words. So yeah, I'm gonna put a wire mesh in the middle of the three inches and you know, just prop it up with some rocks or whatnot. And uh, yeah, that that should do it in my opinion. But uh, what else? So yeah, three inch slab, eight by twelve footings, footers, and then I'm gonna use four by fours for the porch and uh, two by six is for uh, for the rafters half inch plywood for the roof and that thingy how, how do you call that roof uh, roll roof whatever <laughs> they sell it at Home Depot for like $35 a roll it's like three feet wide and 50 foot long asphalt roof asphalt roof yeah 
So lately I've been making videos only in English and having a hard, I, I mean only in Hungarian, having a hard time finding the words in English. Anyways, that's my uh, that's my little farm office uh, project, and I think I'm gonna use plastic uh, screen, or should I use aluminum or some metal? Yeah, maybe I should use that because it's uh, it's stronger. And I'm not sure yet about uh, how uh, how many how many poles to use. Like, is it enough to use one on each corner? So one, two, three, and on the other side one, two, three, and maybe one in between. So three, six, seven, or maybe put a few more in between. Well, actually, for the screen, I'm gonna need uh, smaller sections for the screen, right? Shouldn't go bigger than four, four by four, four feet by four feet for the screen. Maybe six by six. What do you guys think? Gotta Google it. But if any of you know, let me know in the comments below. So yeah, screen it in, and uh, and that's about it. So I gotta spread the the, the the dirt. That's what I'm gonna do over the over the weekend, and continue cleaning up the farm and mowing, and uh, spread the dirt. And then I'm gonna use uh, two by eights. I have some two by eights. Gonna use that for. Uh, make the form for the concrete and uh, the concrete I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, buy a truckload of concrete I'm not gonna mess around uh, I could bring stuff from uh, from the Golden Gate quarry because this stuff I'm bringing from a pit across the street on Immokalee Road big uh, big island excavation it's really good that it's, it's it, the cheapest uh, dirt you can find around it's 450 uh, yard so they load me up with three yards I pay about $15 and uh, I could go and get the 57 rocks for the concrete and the screenings but it's uh, it I, I run I ran the numbers and it's not gonna be any cheaper if I mix my own uh, concrete or if I go to Home Depot and pick up uh, pre-mixed uh, bags of concrete it's not gonna be any cheaper so, uh, preferred materials last time when I uh, bought the concrete it was like 85 or 90 dollars per yard so let's say it's a hundred now because maybe they raise the prices so I need about seven yards seven or eight yards concrete so seven eight hundred bucks and uh, it's not gonna be any cheaper if I if I mix it myself or, or I buy the bags so I'm not gonna bother to spread the dirt build the forms put in the, the the wire mesh and in the footer I'm gonna use rebar of course and then oh one more thing what do you guys think I should use for the 4 by 4s I already bought a bunch of uh, 4 by 4s but I'm gonna... Yeah, some of them are 8 foot long, the others are 10 foot long. But I guess I'm gonna need something to, to embed in the concrete to make it kind of uh, hurricane proof. Like, a, not a J-hook, because that's what you use in, uh, up there in the... what you call it? Bond beam, as J hooks, but over here you need something, something else, right? So one end uh, you embed in the foundation, and the other end has a plate that you attach to. Uh, I I saw them at Home Depot, but they're pretty expensive, like seven, eight dollars a piece, I think. Well, anyways, I don't need, I don't need too many of them, but uh, it depends how many. How many of these I'm gonna use, and then I'm gonna need uh, on the top of the in the front on the top of the four by fours I'm gonna need some two by tens or two by whatever to run it, run it across, and then put the rafters. 
secure the rafters to do that. So what do you guys think? What should I use uh, to embed these uh, these four by fours in the concrete? Plates, J hooks, what not. Or don't use nothing and just 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 set it on the concrete and um, use a couple of hurricane ties on the side and drill in, drill in the concrete and just anchor it to, uh, to the concrete afterwards. That would be easier. Because the problem is, you know, when you, when you pour the, the slab, it might not be that, uh, you know, that I might not be able to to measure it, to, to put it in the uh, exact spot because some of the 4x4s have to go right underneath here I don't know, I'm not sure how how they do that so one, two, three yeah, first I need to figure out how many how many 4x4s should I use and is the 4x4 uh, good enough? it should be, no? I mean, it's gonna be pretty light. It's just gonna be the two by six rafters for the roof and the half inch uh, plywood. Not even plywood. May probably gonna use OSB. Uh, plywood is better. What do you think? <laughs> so many questions. Well, I'll do my research, but um, sometimes it's hard to find some of this information. So that. It would be easier if some of you who already done the, this chip in in the comments help me out. Thanks in advance. How do you like my new camera? It's a Mobius. This is my old Mobius and this is the one that I'm filming now. It's, uh, it's just like this but it's a newer version. It's uh, with a different lens. The lens is sticking out. The C2 lens. lens. It's a really nice camera, I love it. Best action cam ever. Mobius. $65 on banggood.com. So this is uh, the new one, has a wider and angle lens. And it makes nicer videos. Alright my friends, this is it for now. Have a nice day, bye.